Hey everyone, it's Dan Rayfield, your state representative from Corvallis, Philomath, and Oregon State University. Uh, and today, here with me again is... Old Wise Adam! That's right, Old Wise Adam. And we're here with a short session preview uh, where we're going to do three, four things actually today. One, we're going to preview the short session, some of the things that you can expect to come through the short session. We're going to look at some of the bills that our office is going to be moving through the session. We've got a new segment today called... Old Wise Adam. That's right, where Adam is going to make his predictions about what's going to happen in the short session. And then finally, we'll talk to you about some events coming up in the community. Let's get started. Okay. Mr. Peanuts, shall we do a preview of the short session? The short session is just that. It is a short session that lasts for roughly about a month. In the House, House members are limited to two policy bills that they can introduce. And in the Senate, senators are limited to one policy bill. As a result of the short amount of time and the limited number of bills that the members are able to introduce, the session mostly focuses around quick fix it bills or policy bills that didn't quite get over the hurdle during the long session. And we also fine tune Oregon's budget to address emergent issues that are arising across the state. The first thing that I would focus on uh, and that should gain a lot of attention during the session is going to be the climate change legislation. The Clean Energy Jobs Bill was a bill that was attempted to be passed during the 2019 session. This is a bill that capped emissions in Oregon to address climate change and for industries or entities that wanted to emit more, they had to purchase allocations to be able to move above and beyond that, sort of like a cap and trade system. That money that was come out of those allocations would then be reinvested for, the, hence the title, clean energy jobs. That bill passed out of the House, but unfortunately stalled in the Senate. This bill has been worked on during the interim with the governor, the Senate, and the House. And right now, they are working to see whether there is some alignment and whether we can get the votes to be able to pass this bill in the upcoming session. That's going to gain a lot of attention and take up a lot of bandwidth in the upcoming session. And that's one that I am hopeful that we can finally get over the hurdle because Oregon desperately needs to do more to address climate change. One of the other important things that we'll be doing during the 2020 short session is what, Mr. Peanuts? That's right. We'll be fine-tuning Oregon's budget. Uh, in various budgets, like the Oregon Health Authority, the Department of Human Services, the Oregon Department of Forestry, uh, there are fine-tuning adjustments that need to be made so that we can continue to deliver critical services to Oregonians across the state. Additionally, within the budget, we'll also be working to make critical investments uh, in things like behavioral health, housing, that's a continuing crisis in Oregon, uh, child welfare, as well as community corrections. By making adjustments in the middle of the biennium, we can ensure that we continue to make progress on these important services that we deliver to Oregonians across the state. So let's talk about the bills that our office is going to introduce during the 2020 short session. The first bill will address potential conflicts of interest that state legislators may or may not have. Currently, under Oregon law, legislators are not required to disclose income that comes into businesses they own from individuals or entities that have government contracts or interests in legislative matters. This bill simply requires legislators to disclose those potential conflicts of interest. The second bill addresses campaign finance reform. As you may remember, uh, there was a constitutional referral that all of us will be voting on in the 2020 election to amend Oregon's constitution to allow the legislature to place campaign finance contribution limits. If this passes, the legislature needs to be ready to enact a campaign finance reform system. This task force would be enacted under the bill to explore all different options and make recommendations to the 2021 legislative body on a complete and comprehensive campaign reform system. This is a new segment called Old Wise Adam, and in this segment, 
Old Wise Adam here makes predictions about the 2020 legislative session. Old Wise Adam, tell everybody how old you are. 5,000. And just how wise are you? I'm the wisest thing that exists and will ever exist in the history of the universe. So Old Wise Adam, with all of that wisdom, just how many of my bills are going to pass in the 2020 legislative session? Depends. What does it depend upon? Depends upon if workers work hard enough. Very wise. Very wise. Will we pass climate legislation? Probably. I like that optimism. Hopefully. Oh, hopefully. Will any Republicans vote for my bills? Probably. Probably! Another optimistic view. I love hopefully it. Hopefully too. How long will the legislative session last? Depends on if you finish some bills that are all and depends on if you leave depends on if you don't leave any bills half finished and if we leave bills half finished what will happen probably a couple more days maybe a week or two final question oise adam during the 2020 legislative session will we make oregon a better place to live probably and hopefully and it's time to say goodbye, folks. <laughs> goodbye, old wise Adam. Goodbye. I'm going back to my castle up in Germany. <laughs> ah! I broke a rib! <laughs>Finally, we wanted to give you an update about an event going on in the community on February 22nd. This is the League of Women Voters Forum. It'll be occurring at the Corvallis Library from 10 o'clock to 11.30. Uh, it will be an opportunity for us to give some insight into the 2020 legislative session. Also, it's an opportunity for us to hear from the community about issues that are important to you. We want to thank you for watching this video. Uh, during the session, things move quick. Yep. Please call us. Please email us about issues or things that matter to you so we can be responsive. With that said, we want to thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Hey guys, just before we get into this, that was me placing Mr. Peanuts everywhere. I'm a good puppetry man, so that was me doing all the puppet stuff. So hopefully you enjoy me doing the puppet stuff and I'm going to go back to pulling. What's up? Hi guys. I have been told by the puppeteer that I'm not allowed to move the puppet. <laughs> don't knock him off and don't move your head because you don't want him to fall off. Ooh!